Just before we get started with today's video, I do want to say that it is made possible by the free-to-play action game Crossout. Check out the game through the link in the description below, and you can start with three extra weapons or a vehicle cabin just for registering. Flying might be statistically safer than driving, but there's still an inherent level of wrongness about traveling thousands of feet above the ground that makes you rather long for some extra assurance that your plane will land safely and, you know, preferably in one single piece. Unfortunately, just like every other trade, the flying business features both good and bad operators. However, unlike most other trades, when an airline is bad, you're quite literally risking your life the moment you step on board. In the video today, we're looking at 10 companies whose safety records might make you think twice before you hop on board. Number 10. Dallow Airlines the volatile Somalia is a tough market for any business, let alone one that features flying large vehicles in the sky. Dallow Airlines has actually done a fairly commendable job in the circumstances, operating in the cutthroat market of the war-torn country and even merging with its worst rival, Jabber Airlines, to fight international big-budget newcomers such as Turkish Airlines. For two decades, the airline has acted as a lifeline to a country that's wrought with warlords and militants. Dallow is a fairly small operator in a historically volatile region, which makes it all the more impressive that they've managed to get away with just three reported accidents, which have only caused one fatality. The fatal one was a 2016 bomb attack, which saw a terrorist explode a bomb inside of an airborne Dallow passenger plane, which blew a hole in the fuselage. The blast was supposed to kill everyone on board, but the only fatality was the suicide bomber himself. In all, things could have been much, much worse. Number 9. Blue Wing Blue Wing is a tiny airline from Suriname that runs an equally tiny fleet of small airplanes within the country. Not that it really has any other options, seeing as its reputation in international travel is less than exemplary. This reputation largely comes from the elderly Anatov planes that the company, which was founded in 2002, used to fly during its early history, to the effect of no less than three dangerous crashes in the span of two years. In 2008, a Blue Wing plane crashed into a hillside while allegedly attempting to land on a landing strip that already had another plane sitting on it. This crash killed 19 people on board the plane. A year later, another Blue Wing Anatov was totaled in a runway accident, though fortunately there were no fatalities. When a third Anatov crashed in 2010, killing all eight passengers on board, the EU banned the airline for a second time in its short history. This ban still hasn't been lifted. Number 8. SCAT Airlines if the name of a company has anything to do with whether you choose it, you probably have already written off Scat Airlines. This Kazakh airline has recently been cleared for travel within the European Union, but when you look at their safety record between 2013 and 2015, a trend somewhat emerges. Rejected takeoffs, landing troubles, faulty nose gears, and there was even one case where all the left side tires of the plane just deflated during landing. That's pretty terrifying stuff, even without the fatal accident of 2013, when a Scat Airlines plane from Kokshator to Almaty was approaching the Almaty runway in foggy conditions when the plane decided to go around again. That was the last anyone ever heard from them. The plane was found in a swamp less than a mile from the runway. The crew and all 16 passengers died. And if you think things have gotten better since their inclusion on the European Good to Go list, there's always the incident from 2018 when another Almaty bound plane, this time with a whopping 233 passengers, touched down on the runway and struck its tail on the ground. Fortunately, this time there were no injuries, but with the airline's history, it's still the kind of thing that might warrant commentary from concerned parties. Number 7. Nepal Airlines Spoiler alert here, this won't be Nepal's only appearance on this list. To be fair, Nepal Airlines, aka Royal Nepal Airlines, are operating one of the world's most difficult and underserved regions full of mountains and difficult runways. Still, this doesn't mean that their safety record has any excuses to be less than spotty. Aviation Safety Network lists 16 accidents between 1960 and 2002 when they were still running with the raw prefix. A disturbing seven of these had actual casualties. These ranged from difficult storm landings that killed the pilot trying to bring down an empty plane to a full-on fireball that claimed the lives of of 25 people. The airline eventually changed their name to Nepal Airlines, but ASN still attributes three accidents to their name, the worst of which was a 2014 mountainside crash that killed 18 people. Perhaps not shockingly, this airline is banned by the European Union. Number 6. Susi Air How dangerous does an airline have to be for the United States to issue a specific order that its embassy personnel are prohibited from using their flights? Well, just ask Susi Air, the Indonesian airline that managed to get this dubious honor in 2012 after no less than three consequent fatal accidents within the span of 12 months. 
To add insult to injury, and also because it's, you know, sensible, the United States Department of State, Bureau of Diplomatic Security, also recommended in the strongest possible terms that don't involve actual gunpoint that all U.S. citizens steer clear of this company. While Aviation Safety Network only lists two accidents to Susie Air's name, both of which were 2011 cargo flights with crew fatalities, it's pretty hard to contest the U.S. official stance on this one, especially because Indonesia's own chief of the National Narcotics Agency is on record saying that pretty much all of the country's plane accidents are due to the pilots being on drugs. Right. So just before we get into the top five today, I want to take a minute to tell you about today's sponsor, Crossout. Crossout will actively encourage you to build dangerous crafts and then destroy other people's things. Crossout is an online vehicle action game where all of the vehicles are made by the players. Basically, what you do is construct your own crazy vehicle from the ground up with all sorts of different parts. You can add weapons, support systems, the main structure, and a bunch else to your vehicle, from rail guns to rocket boosters. It's a super fast-paced game with loads of different game modes, and you've got pretty much limitless freedom to create, and what you do to your vehicle is entirely up to you. And it's also not complicated right at the start, with it being a very easy learning of allowing you to make your own vehicle and get into the game super fast. Loads of different game modes as well, so you're sure to find one that you love. Join us on the battlefield for free, by the way, using the link in the description below. PC, Xbox One, PS4, all very easy. And going through that link not only helps support this show, but also gets you a free starter set with three extra weapons or a vehicle cabin, all just as a bonus for registering. Thanks to Crossout for sponsoring, and let's get into those top five. Number five, Tara Air. All right, so we're back to Nepal again. Tara Air advertises itself as the newest and biggest airline service provider in the Nepalese mountains, boasting a fleet as big as six airplanes. Now, you'd think that having a small number of planes would mean a small number of accidents, but oh no, that's not true at all, as you probably know. As Aviation Safety Network describes, the airline was founded in 2009, and within the first 10 years of its operation, there were no less than five accidents. Two of those accidents were serious, and both involved crashes into hills or mountainsides, killing a total of 45 people. We don't want to be too hard on small entrepreneurs here, but when two planes from a six-plane company managed to crash and kill everyone on board, and also be involved in three other report-worthy accidents, the company probably shouldn't rely too much on return business. Number 4. Cam Air there's no indication that Cam Air aren't trying to do their best. In fact, even the New York Times say that they really, really are, considering the circumstances. They just happen to be facing a few hurdles that your average airline doesn't have to face. After all, Cam Air operates in Afghanistan, and as such, they've had to deal with minor disruptions such as local crime bosses, oh, and you know, the Taliban. Over the years, their planes have been chased by local mobs that have been furious that their leader happened to miss the plane. They have also been blacklisted for allowing opium smuggling on their planes, and their runways have been ample targets for rocket fire. The only reason they managed to operate at all is by sheer tenacity and natural selection. You see, they've managed to corner 90% of Afghanistan's flight market, and since Afghanistan is way too large and tumultuous to safely travel by land, their decrepit fleet of planes is often literally the only way to travel. In the process, Cam Air has begun one of the biggest taxpayers in the country and thus pretty much indispensable to the government. This doesn't mean that flying a Cam Air plane is by any means safe, though, whether you're a passenger or a pilot. You see, because Cam Air is such a vital thing to stitch Afghanistan together, attacks on its pilots have become common. Also, there's that crash in 2005 that killed 104 people. Number 3. Lion Air since the start of its operations in 2000, Indonesia's own Lion Air has seen eight of its planes totaled beyond recovery. In 2019, a massive crash of a Lion Air Boeing 737 plane killed 189 people, and it kicked off the disastrous string of accidents featuring that plane type that was later capped off by the more famous Ethiopian Airlines crash. Strangely, Lion Air seems to have a very special brand of badness going for them. Its pilots have the odd distinction of being constantly busted for using drugs. Their preferred drug of choice is crystal meth, known locally as Sabu Sabu. Alarmingly, one busted pilot told the operative chief of the country's National Narcotics Agency that the pilots simply consider crystal meth as part of their lifestyle and a necessity to remain alert and fit while carrying out their duties. Let's just say, make of that what you will when you next book your tickets. Number 2. Mapati Nusantara Airlines 
Yes, there's another Indonesian airline on this list. Mapati Nusantara is a Jakarta-based company that the Aviation Safety Network will tell us has no less than 50 occurrences to its name since its founding in 1962. No less than 20 of these have involved fatalities, the most tragic one killing as many as 69 people. Granted that the last one of the airline's accidents was several years ago, back in 2013, and they were removed from the EU's list of banned air carriers in 2015. However, both of these facts are probably because Mapati stopped flying in 2014 due to handling their finances roughly as well as they handled their safety. Their estimated debt amounts to a whopping $734 million. Don't worry though, they're optimistic that they can round up enough investment capital to start flying again in 2019. Number 1. Ariana Afghan Ariana Afghan has managed to stay in business in Afghanistan since 1955, and despite advertising themselves as the country's primary airline, for all intents and purposes, Cam Air is holding that particular torch. It doesn't help that Ariana operated 12 destinations with an aging fleet of only four planes as per 2017, though they have plans to expand to a total of seven planes by the end of 2019. As you might expect, operating a small commercial airline in one of the most volatile regions in recent history has not been easy and Ariana Afghan has the string of tragic incidents to prove it. Through its existence, the tiny airline has suffered 27 documented accidents, eight of which have claimed lives. In 1969, a landing error caused a Ariana Boeing 727 to ram into a house, killing two people on the ground and 48 people inside the plane, which was disintegrated by the impact. In 1998, another 727 flew into a mountainside near Kabul, killing 45. Oh, and there's also the danger of getting shot down, which is what happened in 1988 when 25 people died when a Pakistani fighter reportedly shot down an Ariana Afghan plane. Pakistan, however, denies this. Other potential risks while flying with Ariana have included strange crashes, possible hijackings that led to strange crashes, and planes getting shot down by rockets. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up below. And do not forget to subscribe. We've got brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Looking for more from me? Why not check out a new channel I'm doing called Highlight History? You will find that linked to below. And as always, thank you for watching.